Alright, I just had to. This game just came out. As far as I can tell, it was released today. This, uh, this is the 16th of February. You know, it may have been a couple of days ago. But I just noticed it. So, let's, uh, let's hop into this thing. It's been a little while since I played the original version of this on the SNES. That was back when I did my LP of it. I do not intend to do an entire playthrough of this version here. But, well, I mean, we'll see how it goes. Yes, English. I speak English. It's a language I understand. Uh, should I change his name? Randy? Uh, fine, whatever. Long ago, the world prospered and humanity thrived thanks to a power known as mana. Oh god, that's terrible. However, humans soon sought to use mana to create the ultimate weapon. A floating battleship called the Mana Fortress. This greedy arrogance angered the gods, who in turn unleashed vicious beasts into the world. A violent war between the mana beasts and the fortress engulfed the world in poison and fire until mana had all but disappeared. In humanity's bleakest hour, a hero wielding the mana sword appeared and destroyed the fortress. The world was left in shambles, and yet humanity persevered and there was peace throughout the land. But as time passes, so history repeats. Hey! Guys! Wait! Up! Whoa! Shh! Be quiet, stupid! If the Elder finds us here, we're done for! Yeah... We're not supposed to be here? Everyone in the village knows about the ghost! Everybody knows about the ghost! You really believe that old fib? The grown-ups just say there's a ghost to scare us away! But I did hear Grandma say she saw something shiny by the falls when she was little. Maybe it's treasure. Let's go find it. Uh, help! I'm gonna fall! Ah! Oh well. Oh, that looked like it hurt. How the hell did you survive that? Oh, whoa! Ouch! Oh, there's no way back up! Now what am I gonna do? Oh, man, that soundtrack is jarring. I guess they don't want to use the exact same soundtrack they used in the early game, the original game, because it was very SNES sounding. Kind of samples and all that kind of stuff. It, they don't really use uh, MIDI or sample rich audio anymore. Nowadays, that limitation isn't necessary, and you can just sort of do uh, a PCM file. Huh? Or any kind of like actual audio file. Oh, it looks like the level design is made up to be the same as it was in the original game. I guess, I mean, could I call that a positive, I guess? The village is this way, but I'll never get through here without a weapon. Why don't you try stepping over all that crap? It's not that big. Who 
are you? Why don't I move my mouth when I talk? And what's the sword doing here? <laughs> Too right! What's with this light? What do you mean? Ugh, what's up with this sword? The light's fading already. Oh, I have to get back to the village! Uh, the art style. I would have preferred a bit more of a realistic looking art style. Oh. There we go. I would have preferred a little bit more of a realistic art style, rather than... Ah, oh, I can change direction while running. Ha, <laughs> that's nice. I mean, the big heads and the... I mean, I get that the characters in the original game had those oversized heads. But I would have figured that was just sort of... a result of... What's a rabbi doing in a place? A result of the technological limitations of the SNES. You couldn't have enough pixels in the sprite to make them make their heads like obviously able to emote so you made their heads larger i mean it was a common thing it still happens occasionally uh these characters though are clearly not emoting very well because they don't have any facial uh <laughs> they don't have much in the way of expressions on their faces also everything looks a little bit more colorful than I like to see. I mean, granted, the game, the original game was colorful, but it was a little bit darker than this. It had been more of a realistic color palette when it came to, like, the grass and all that kind of stuff. A little darker. But we'll see how it goes. I mean, the game did go to a number of different locations. I'm gonna take my time in killing all of these rabbis in the beginning, because I want some experience points. The uh, difficulty spike in the original game was a little bit off. Until you get the magic abilities that the other two characters have, you're kind of at a serious disadvantage, especially in the ones of bosses. So you more or less just want to get the get the levels and get the points, and get the power and stuff while you can get it. Once I get the magic. Provided that hasn't changed too much from the original game, it'll, uh... Huh. One charge hit, and then just one regular hit's enough to kill these things. Well, maybe not in that case. <laughs> Layout seems to be identical to the way I remember it in the original game. Okay. Let's try this, uh... Here we go. Take that. <laughs> Works the same way. It's even the same, uh... Same, like... Jumping downward swing attack. The voice acting is a little bad. <laughs> I guess they're trying to go for, like, a cutesy kind of thing. Very... Very Japanese. <laughs> I hope he doesn't go running around talking to himself the entire game. Yes! There's a lot of rabbites here. There definitely couldn't have been that many in the original game. If I recall... If I recall, there could only be three... Okay, I don't get to keep it. There could only be three enemies on the screen at a time. Obviously, for like the, probably a technical limitation on the SNES. Hello, old woman, or man, or whatever you are. Do you see that? Something lit up the sky near the falls a moment ago. I have a bad feeling about it. It's more than a moment ago, lady. Hey, stop playing with that sword before you hurt someone. I'll tell the elder on you. 
Is this the kind of crap that you idiots were saying in the original game? It does seem like they expanded the dialogue a little bit, especially with that sort of opening, uh, opening cinematic. Now, I do know that the game was originally... What in the hell? Dude, he's dancing. <laughs> On an errand for the Elder? I mean, I know they were dancing before. And I always assumed that these people were women, so I guess I was wrong about that. Uh, hey, why not? Anything else? Come again. This interface... Oh, crap. I already own these. Do I own the... Uh, On an errand for the Elder? Welcome! What'll it... Anything else? Anything else? Come again! I perhaps could have bought that earlier. <laughs> I know it was originally going to be a Nintendo PlayStation game, and that, when that peripheral was cancelled, the game was sort of scaled down in order to fit on the SNES cartridges. Then, due to differences with the way characters are drawn between Japanese and English, the game had to be scaled down even further in order to fit, to be playable on the, um, another one of these guys. Oh, it's you. Play now it on the, by, but... in English. Hey, Gemma. I think that guy is a knight. What's he doing in a little village like ours? Why do you look like that? That never mind. Oh, I guess uh, you did see this kind of character running around. Hopefully there's a little bit more variation in the character types that you'll see. And not just see that same exact girl in every freaking town. There's an unfamiliar face in here. He looks kind of scared. Uh, okay. All right, we all know what we have to do. Oh, you're all right. Elliot. I should let them talk. I thought you were a goner. That's why I told you not to bring someone like him along. You idiots. None of you were supposed to wander into that area. What's that you have there? Oh no. It couldn't be. Cool. Did you find the treasure? Where did it go? What have you done? That's the mana sword. No way you could have pulled it free. If you could have warned me about this kind of thing earlier, maybe I wouldn't have done it. Mana sword? But legend says the village will be destroyed if it's removed. You knew about this little bastard? I never thought it'd come to this. The mana sword is said to protect the village from disaster. But now... Aha! So you're the reason all those monsters are attacking us! You yanked out the sword and doomed the whole village! It's your fault, you outsider! Hey, stop! He's hurting Shut me with up. telekinesis. It's all your fault! Leave me alone! Uh, an earthquake! They are putting a lot of effort into making this as much like the original game as they could. Can you hear me? Calm down and study the enemy's movements to look for an opening. All right, the mantis ant. Oh shit! Okay. Of course, I don't have to worry about this losing because. I bet, like the original game, I'm invincible at this point. Takes more than that. Not much more than that. Oh well, <laughs> got hit today. Hear your mind. Wait for your power to return to a hundred percent. Then be sure your aim is true. Yep, resurrected. Now. Gemma would just follow me around the entire game, I'd never lose. Ah, oh, you 
faster than it. I mean, I guess I knew it could block in the original game, but it was a little harder to tell when it was actually blocking. I don't care for this remaster or remake of the music. This rendition of it's a little cheesy. But it, it's all in the same style as the rest of the game. Alright, well you just kindly... Oh, it is dead. <laughs> Timothy, your ass forward. Get up. Wait, no, that's Elliot. Uh, you know, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> you did well. Wait there. I'll pull you up. Whoever that is, the skeleton, the skull in the top left corner of the screen, it's got three eyes. Or did it just, you know, take a shot to the head? <laughs> Someone shoot it in the forehead? You seem to be in possession of the real mana sword. Uh, this is troubling. Enough with the close-ups. Uh, why is that? The legend says the sword can only be retrieved by a knight when the world is in peril. But you are far too young for such a responsibility. Something must be wrong with the mana sword. Here, you take it. No, I cannot. The sword has lost its power. It must be restored. So why don't you do it? Only the one who pulled it free can do that. Oh, isn't that convenient? Then, what should I do? Visit Sage Luca in the Water Palace. The Sage has protected these lands for over 200 years. You would do well to listen to her advice. Hey! The Elder wants you to come to his house. I'll be off. I have duties to attend. My name is Jimma, and I'll be waiting for you at the Water Palace. Get going! Yeah, I'm gonna listen to a kid who's permanently wearing a dunce cap. Elder, we can't ignore this! What, is this everybody in town? There's five fucking people. We're at our wit's end! Who knows when another monster will appear? What, as opposed to the one? How many more will appear? Well, there's the one. How many have you been attacked with? The one. Hmm. Oh, it's you. You've really done it this time. Personal space, buddy. protected us for years. Once you removed it, the monster started attacking the village. It's settled. We can't let him stay in the village anymore. He'll just bring more monsters. So what, they're after him? Go! Get out of here! Yeah! yeah leave, leave here now! now. <sighs> I don't want to do this, but I have no choice. I banish you from this village. There's a treasure chest downstairs. Take the contents and be on your way. Isn't it weird you call it a treasure chest? Hey, Are child. Are you going somewhere? See you later. You got a lot of crap uh, down here. Uh -huh. Is that it? You got swords all over the place. I took you in as a child, but there's nothing more I can do for you. Forgive me. You wouldn't remember. You were just a baby. But I was there when your mother first came to this village. After she disappeared, I did my best to raise you. Yes, she looked rather tree-like. But today is the day we must part ways. I hope that you find your mother again someday. Goodbye. Guy doesn't even know my name. Alright. Let's get out of this damn place. Bunch of losers. Do you have everything you need? By order of the Elder, you have been banished from Poto's village. Now be gone! This guy's got a porn star stash. Ah! 
Ah! Not expect to get attacked that quick. Hey! Ah! 